many of you are aware that what drives the hospitality industry is essentially government business. Because government business is about 60% of the entire revenues in most of our domestic hotels. The reason why we've been fighting for Nakuru to be a city status is for that very simple reason. That when civil servants now want to come to a town of a city status nature, they'll be paid at par with Mombasa or Nairobi, or Kisumu for that matter. So in the past, those three places have dominated government meetings. Kisumu mainly, Mombasa, and Nairobi. So the moment now Nakuru also gets to that space, I want to assure you, more than half of the government meetings will actually be within our region. Between Naivasha and Nakuru, we're going to have very many of those government meetings, just because of that per diem language that is very common with our civil servants. So again, the question we'll be asking, if the Senate is meeting here, I don't know which ministry, I don't know which parastate all those people are meeting here, do we have that capacity? And I also want to say for myself where I come from, I would not want to be in a situation whereby you go and tell the world to come, and finally when the world comes, they don't see exactly what you promised. So my conversation with the hospitality industry is to also ask you and request you to ensure that you up your game so that when a visitor comes to your place, they may have come to your hotel, but as long as they are concerned, they actually came to Nakuru. If that experience is bad, it's not just bad for your hotel, it's bad for Nakuru. So you must also start looking at our destination as a destination Nakuru. It may be America, it may be Sarova or whichever other hotel, but ultimately, a good experience in Nakuru will lead somebody to come to Nakuru again and again and again. So how do we make our experience unforgettable? Um, in marketing boards. And uh, we enacted that law so that we can create a body within Nakuru that will specifically market Nakuru as a destination. And therefore, we will soon be appointing a board within Nakuru of persons who are going to help us to go to all those government departments, even internationally, to bring the business here. And we think this is going to be a single vehicle that we all can use and ride together to bring business here in Nakuru. And by Nakuru, we also include Naivasha and all the other places. There will be bidding to be done. And when you go for such meetings, the bidding is not in, it is in terms of how many beds do you have in Nakuru? How many four stars do you have? How many three stars do you have? What conferencing capacity do you have? And that kind of thing. So we would want to be able to package Nakuru as a destination, put all the information together, and I think now as we go towards the city for Nakuru, it's important for me to categorically say that there are certain hotels that are not present online. Is that true? Isn't it? We cannot afford that kind of uh, rural behavior anymore. You know, any visitor coming here, they want to check, book online, whatever you promise online, they must also be able to get it. And therefore, within the tourism board that you want to form for Nakuru, we also want to train you on how to market within the online platform. 